Rima started um, in around 1995, and I remember specifically the day that it started. And we wrote a little proposal to uh, develop a free swimming robot. Once we developed it for the science community at Rutgers, we uh, approached the Navy uh, to see if they'd be interested in us giving it a try for the, the mine hunting mission. It turned out it worked perfectly for that mission. We added side scan sonars to it and uh, cameras and other sensors to search for the mines. And we gave it very, very good navigational capabilities so that when it found something, it could tell you exactly where that object was. With all the funding from the Office of Naval Research, um, we were able to get the vehicle up to a point where it really was um, manufacturable and reliable and everything the Navy wanted. Uh, the Navy said that they would like to be able to procure this commercially. Um, and Woods Hole Oceanographic, as you know, is not really a commercial operation. It's more of a, a research institution. So we discussed this amongst ourselves and with the administration at Woods Hole and try to figure out what was the best way to move forward. And we came to the conclusion that we didn't think it would be successful unless uh, the inventors stayed actively involved. And so that's why we decided that the better route was to start up a new company. Our customers clearly preferred that. Um, they wanted the intense kind of passion that the inventors provided to keep the thing going to make the startup work. Um, and uh, they told us many times that we did the right thing. When this new company called Hydroid was developed, uh, they unloaded all of that from our, from our HUI team, allowing the HUI team to continue writing research proposals. And, and uh, many of those proposals end up being teamed with vehicles uh, that were built by Hydroid. So it really was, I would say, a force multiplier. It took our little group of 10 and essentially turned it into a much larger uh, group. Hui is a very special place for innovation, and I think that's really its niche in the world, is uh, we always have to stay at the leading edge of the innovation. If we do hit on something that is uh, really good and people want it, then we need a way to spin that out uh, so that it can be made available to more people commercially. And I think that's what we did with Hydroid is we showed that that was possible, that we could uh, develop um, new technology in an academic environment, but not just have that technology fizzle when we were done and working on something else. We have a way to uh, commercialize it in a sustainable way so that the, the company that takes over can actually keep it going while we move on to new things. And I think that's critical. It's critical for a place like Hui to have that because otherwise uh, innovation slows down. And having the ability to, to be able to branch off a completed design and then move on to the next design is, uh, I think, very important. And that's basically what we did with Hydroid.